what's your name? Oh, uh, Minnie, like the mouse. Frank, like the ocean. Oh, that's good. <laughs> My mom died. Oh, not so good. I'm just returning a package. Don't bother, because none of this is real. Sounds like good news to me. <laughs> We're being watched right now. No, no. Just my brain having a moment. How's your day been? Yeah. Bit of a weird one. You're an actual adult woman. Wow. Well, adult's a bit of a strong word. I, I got ID'd buying glue the other day. Is it illegal to open other people's mail? Like, yeah, but what happens if what's inside it is illegal too? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, last time I did it, it was private and I felt bad. Do you feel bad about a lot of things? What? A sense of urgency hung in the air as she climbed higher, her eyes scanning the dimly lit hallway, watching for any signs of danger. In her hands, she carries a package. I wonder who it's for. Are you narrating my actions? Her face was veiled in shadows, concealing a past that had etched lines of sorrow and resilience upon her young features. Thank you. Is there? Wait, where am I? Fifth floor. No, no, Guy lives on the fifth floor. This is a garden. Oh, uh, I keep getting these parcels for this guy called Guy. Um, and he's 21, but on the fifth floor. You smell nice, by the way. Oh, thanks. Guess it's just me and you then, Guy. You don't want to change the world. Okay, listen, uh... Clara. Clara. That's not my real name, of course. Okay, not Clara. I went to art school, work in the spoons, occasionally sell clothes online, have a long list of daddy issues, and I'm asthmatic. So, I really don't think changing the world is in the cards for me anytime soon. You're perfect. No offence. Sound a bit unhinged. I'm here at this, you know, this work thing. But I can't really, I can't really talk to anyone because they're all just so mindlessly happy, you know. And I don't, I don't know, maybe this might be a bit TMI, but... You know, right before she bursted out, she, she said, Alberta, this, this is all your fault. There are two people in this equation. I mean, how, how is this all my fault that you're leaving? Did you do something? I don't know. Maybe? I asked her name, even if I already knew it. Isn't she it would say Minnie, like the mouse, a typical introduction for her zillennial persona. Okay. What are you doing here? Guess. Returning a package. Sorry, I just, I'm definitely allergic. Oh, you're allergic to perfume? Well, no, that one specifically. This had to be the reason I have this. I'm so sorry you can't smell Alberta. It's only the best perfume ever made. It took me six months to save up for it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. I myself have terrible hay fever. <laughs> But your whole life, all you wanted was Alberta. I'd still rather not witness my neighbour die before 3 p.m. Oh, actually, do you know where I am? You're whatever you want to be. It's at the fifth fucking floor, apparently. You don't have to be scared, okay? I'm here. Well, that's new. What? Nothing. I just really hate the dog. Well, it's not the dog that scares you, it's the unknown. Oh, men are so predictable. Oh, wow. But then, you know, women aren't exactly much better, so. Shit. Was that a terrible thing to say? 
I should go. Um, good luck with your situation. Wait, uh, what are you going to do with, with the old new guy? That isn't any old new guy, Alberta. That guy is my dad. Open the package, Minnie. No, no, okay, listen, I'm not just going to have some major revelation just because the damn lift is broken. You already know, don't you? Is any of you a guy? It's pronounced Guy, actually. Common mistake. Is it so hard to read the fucking floor number? <laughs> Do you have any ID? Uh, 